morning. I'm Janine Pantino, a caregiver student from Sasen Lipa. Today, I will perform supplying oxygen inhalation for the patient. Supplying oxygen inhalation is a method by which oxygen is supplemented at higher percentage than what is available in atmospheric air. The purpose of this is to relieve dysopnea, to reduce or prevent hypoxemia, and hypoxia, to alleviate associated with struggle to breathe. Um, there are two uh, there are two sources of oxygen. Um, Therapeutic oxygen is available from two sources: uh, wall outlets, uh, which coming from a central supply. Uh, it is usually uh, on the wall of the hospitals, and then second is the oxygen cylinders, which is uh, we can see uh, normally we can see uh, in the hospitals here in the Philippines. First, explain to the client the dangers of the lighting matches or smoking cigarettes, cigars, and pipes. Be sure the client have no matches, cigarettes, or smoking materials in the bedside table. Make sure that the warning signs, oxygen, no smoking, are posted on the client's door and above the client's bed. Do not use oil on oxygen equipment. Oil can ignite if it is exposed to oxygen. With all oxygen delivery systems, the oxygen is turned on. The oxygen is turned on before the mask is applied to the client. Make sure the tubing is patent at all times and that the equipment is working properly. Maintain a constant oxygen concentration for the client to breathe. Monitor equipment at regular intervals. Give pain medication as needed. Prevent chilling and try to ensure that the clients get needed rest. Be alert to the cues about hunger and elimination. The client's physical comfort is important. Watch for respiratory depression or distress. Encourage or assist the client to move about in bed to prevent hypostatic pneumonia or circulatory difficulties. Many clients are reluctant to move because they are afraid of the oxygen apparatus. Provide frequent mouth care. Make sure that the oxygen contains proper humidification. Oxygen can be drying to mucous membrane. Discontinue oxygen only after physician has evaluated the client. Generally, you should not abruptly discontinue oxygen given in medium to high concentration, which is likely about 30%. Um, gradually decrease it in stages and monitor the client's arterial, arterial blood, gases, or oxygen saturation level. These steps determine whether the client needs continuous support. Always be careful when you give high level of oxygen to a client with a COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The elevated levels of oxygen in the patient's body can, uh, de can depress their stimulus to breathe. Never use oxygen in the hyperventilation patient. Wear gloves at any time you might come into contact with the client's respiratory secretions to prevent the spread of infection. The equipment you will be using is the client's chart, cardex, oxygen, um, connecting tube, flow meter, humidifier with a sterile water, oxygen source, wall outlets or oxygen cylinder, tray with nasal cannula, of, can, with nasal cannula of appropriate, appropriate size or oxygen mask, kidney tray, adhesive tape, scissors, oxygen stand, ghost business, uh, cotton swabs if needed, and uh, uh, no smoking uh, signage, and a pair of gloves. In this demo, we will be using nasal cannula. This one. The advantages of it are it is convenient and comfortable more than face mask. It brings less anxiety and uh, allow patient to talk and eat. Mouth breathing does not affect the concentration of delivered oxygen. While the disadvantages of it are it assumes an adequate it assumes an adequate breathing pattern and unable to deliver concentrations about 44%. Uh, when putting uh, oxygen in the patient, we're gonna use uh, one liter per minute, or we can uh, use one liter to six liter per minute. One liter per minute delivered 22 to 24 percent concentrated oxygen. Two liters two liters per minute delivered 26 to 28 percent concentrated oxygen. Three liters per minute delivered 28 to 30 percent concentrated oxygen. Four liters per minute delivered 32 to 36 percent concentrated oxygen. Um, five liters per minute delivered 36 to 40 percent concentrated oxygen, and six liters per minute delivered 40 to 44 percent concentrated oxygen. There are another hyper devices such as a venture mask, oxygen hood, and tra tracheostomy mask that we can use in the patient. Um, we should choose the appropriate method of oxygen administration with the doctor's, pre with the doctor's prescription and nursing assessment. 
first that we need to do uh, is check the doctor's prescription, including the date, time, uh, flow liter per minute, and methods to avoid medical error. Next is perform hand hygiene and wear gloves if available to, pre to prevent the spread of infection. Uh, explain the purpose and procedures to the patient. Providing information fosters the client's cooperation and allies his or her anxiety. Hi, I'm Janine, your caregiver today. What is your name, sir? Aro Kempe Pantino. Okay. Can you state your birthday, Aro? July 19, 2014. Thank you, Aro. Uh, today, I am going to assist you for putting on oxygen so that you can comfortably breathe, okay? Okay. Thank you, Assemble the equipment. Organization facilitates accurate skill performance. <laughs> Next is, uh, prepare the oxygen equipment. Uh, first, uh, we need to put the patient into the comfortable position. Uh, attach the flow meter into the wall outlet or oxygen. This one is the flow meter. And um, you, this is the oxygen supply from the wall. Uh, we need to... Uh, we need to connect this uh, tube here inside the um, connection of the oxygen from the wall. And then, um, fill humidifier about one-third with sterile water or boiled water. Because humidification prevents drying of the nasal mucosa. Um, this is the humidifier. Uh, we just pretend that um, uh, this humidifier is filled already with um, uh, sterile water or boiled water. And then, um, blow off dust from the oxygen cylinder to prevent, to prevent entering dust from its exist or cylinder to the nostril. Attach the canola with the connecting tubing to the adapter on the hum humidifier. So, um, this uh, flow meter, when we attach it in the wall, next is we attach this, um, uh, this humidifier here. Or, if you don't have humidifier, you can attach the, the thing that we call a uh, cup here. So where, where you can attach the, the nasal cannula. But uh, in this demo, we have already the, the humidifier. So we're going to attach the nasal cannula here. Um, this is the nasal cannula. We're going to attach the end of this one here into the humidifier. <coughs> This is the adapter, and then I attach already the end of the nasal cannula. Test flow by setting a flow meter at uh, 2 or 3 liters per minute and check the flow onto the hand. Testing flow before use is needed to provide prescribed oxygen to the client. Adjust the flow meter setting to the ordered flow rate. The flow rate via the cannula should not exceed 6 liters per minute. Um, higher rates may cause excess drying of nasal mucosa. Insert the nasal cannula into the client's nose seals. Adjust the tubing behind the client's ears and slide the plastic adapter under the client's chin until, or, until he or she is comfortable. Proper position allows unobstructed oxygen flow and eases the client's respirations. Then we're going to adjust. Uh, it fitted in this nose, and then we're going to adjust. Is that okay, sir? Okay. Thank you. Maintain sufficient slack to, in oxygen tubing to prevent the tubing from getting out of place accidentally. Um, encourage the patient to breathe through the nose rather than the mouth and expire from the mouth. Breathing through the nose inhales more oxygen into the trachea, which is likely to be exhaled through the mouth. Sir? 
you're trying to breathe uh, from your nose and then when you when you breathe out uh, you can try to breathe out from your mouth okay like this good yes sir yes sir okay. initiate oxygen flow to maintain doctor prescription and avoid oxygen toxicity assess the patient's response to oxygen and comfort level anxiety increases the demand for oxygen dispose of gloves if you wore and perform a hand hygiene to prevent the spread of infection. Uh, you should place no smoking signboard at entry into the room. The signs warns the client and visitors that smoking is that smoking is prohibited because oxygen is combustible. Document the following date, time, flow rate, respiratory condition, and response to oxygen. Documentation provides coordination of care. Sometimes oxygen inhalation can bring oxygen intoxication. Sign the chart to maintain professional accountability. Report to the senior staff to provide continuity of care and compare the client's condition. Check the oxygen setup including the water level in the humidifier. Clean the cannula and assist the client's nar nares at, at least every 8 hours. Sterile water needs to be added when the level falls below the line and the humidification container. Nares may become dry and irritated and require the use of water suitable lubricant. Evaluate for pressure source over ears, cheeks, and nares. Um, putting a petroleum is not advisable because the petroleum can start an ignition uh, with uh, oxygen. After use of nasal cannula, you should cleanse it as follow. Uh, soak the cannula in salvan water for an hour. Uh, dry it properly. Cleanse the teeth of cannula by spirit swab before applying to the client. That is all. Thank you.